transgender patients face a great deal of discrimination. Many doctors who won't take care of transgender patients, or if they're willing to, they don't know how to. This is a very at-risk population in regards to psychiatric care. Up to 40% of the individuals who are transgender or gender non-conforming have experienced a suicide attempt in their lifetime. We wanted to create a fellowship where we could train the next generation of surgeons, right? It's just me, it's just one surgeon, there's only so much that I can do. Up until now there hasn't been a fellowship, so this is the first. There were no formal training programs in transgender surgery. I was very fortunate when Dr. Jess Ting contacted me, inviting me to uh, apply for the fellowship, which had just been approved. I feel very lucky to be here. One new surgeon every year will come out of this program and we'll be able to multiply our expertise and what we do in trying to improve those healthcare disparities. There will be a psychiatry fellow who will primarily work at our outpatient center working with Dr. Arroyo, taking care of the many psychiatric and mental health needs of our patient population. I'm always excited to be on the cutting edge of medicine, and that's exactly what's happening here at uh, Mount Sinai's Transgender Center. What we're doing now is providing wraparound services for a community who before had trouble reaching doctors at all. And now they're able to come to one center and get primary care, surgical services, as well as mental health services. I feel in my heart that this is going to set a wave of other programs following suit in knowing that there is a need to specialize in transgender health and to be able to provide that through education.